Global Highest Good Network Creation. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 217. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 217, May 21st, 2017 edition. This week's theme, Highest Good Global Network Creation, which is one way to describe what it is that One Community is all about. Our idea is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all, which is people that are thinking and want to create for the highest good of all life and all people on this planet and to create open source and do-it-yourself tools, tutorials, resources, instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And these are food, energy, housing, education, fulfilled living practices, everything that you see happening here on the bigger screen. And our idea is if we can make all these things easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate them as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And the ultimate expression of that idea would be a highest good network of people working together around the world to help create a truly sustainable planet for everybody. And so we're open sourcing and free sharing everything that you see, all the step-by-step -step instructions, all the detailed components necessary to replicate it, and open sourcing and free sharing it so people that have better ideas, different ideas, that would like to do it differently for different reasons, with different goals, will have everything they need to replicate that. And we believe that if we create everything with the consciousness for the highest good, bringing together people that are just doing the best that we can to create the best that we can, we think that that's a step in the right direction. And so one community is meant to be that example, a place that people will be able to come and experience everything that it is that we're doing and anything that they like, be able to replicate that. Or to be able to start with it as a building block for something different, something better, and if they would like to work with us, if they'd like to be a part of a Global Highest Good network, and part of the creation process, then they can share their designs with us, contribute to the open source suite of solutions that we're creating, sharing everything that they do, all their modifications, adaptations, in return, we will promote their organization, everything that they're doing with the amazing marketing engine that we're creating. And our goal is to create places all over the world that people can visit and have the one community experience, not as a franchise, not as a business, but as a way of life that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. And so when somebody goes and experiences something like this in our location or another location around the world, if they like what they see, we hope that they'll want to build one too. And our our desire, our belief of why this could spread across the world and transform the world positively and permanently for everybody is that if we can demonstrate it's easy enough, affordable enough, demonstrate it's attractive enough, that people want to recreate these. Some of the easiest places to create these things will be in places other than the United States. And lots of people ask us, like, why don't you build another country? Why don't you build somewhere else? Like, oh, the land is really cheap here, whatever. That is totally true. But for the original open source model, it needs to be accessible, easily accessible to the people with the funds and the resources necessary to be able to replicate it in other places around the world. So while it would be easier to build in other places around the world, it doesn't really meet our personal global transformational goal, trans transformation goals, which is create something that's accessible to everybody easily be close to an international airport, but more importantly, be driving distance and, well, driving a bit within the driving ability of anybody within the United States. And from there, we believe that we can take the resources of this abundant country that we live in right now and help them to spread around the world, creating not just self-sufficient, self-sustainable teacher demonstration hubs, but specifically bringing the resources to the places where they're needed the most as teacher demonstration hubs teaching people everything that it is that we're doing and integrating with the existing cultures in a win-win type of collaborative environment and starting to really demonstrate what we're capable of as a global family, as people that want to help each other, as people that want to do the right thing, as people that want to live sustainably and self-sufficiently and share that with others. 
as valuable members of a community that are valuable members of their surrounding community with everyone helping each other. And why? Because all their needs are met. Because the food infrastructure, the energy infrastructure, the housing infrastructure, the education models, the fulfilled living practices are designed to provide for everyone's needs. And from that place of abundance and having what everybody needs, we believe that a large enough percentage of people want to share that. A large enough percentage of people will want to give to others and help others to create the same thing such that the model will spread on its own. And we can create that global highest good network and facilitate that process of global highest good network creation all over the world, working together with people like us that share this vision for a sustainable planet for everybody and creating sufficient teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities to address the challenges of our day and for future generations working together to create the world that we know is possible. This is what one community is doing and this is how we see ourselves creating world change. So let's jump into the updates. Next you'll see one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. We're a hundred percent volunteer organization. If you'd like to get involved, join us. There's lots of different ways to participate. And now let me share with you one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video and see what you think. Let's jump into the updates. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, completed another round of updates to this top view rendered image for the Earth Bay Village 3 Dome Cluster. We updated the placement of the Murphy bed and moved the other furniture to better reflect how much space will be available in these structures. We also updated this open bed view of the Murphy bed with the same changes. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her 14th week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week's focus was placing the pump box and another round of piping updates related to this and other small layout changes. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 15th week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower and vermiculture bathroom designs. This week's focus was more septic research and piping design, chamber design, pump details, and starting to explore locations for water fountains and spigots. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 69 of Dean's work that is now focusing on the Northwest Residential Wing, as shown here. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 41st week helping with the compressed earth block village pod 4 design and render details. This week's focus was continued work on the landscaping details around the meditation labyrinth, as shown here. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 24th week of work, focusing on further development of Zone 9 exercise spaces, raised planters, climbing bridges, and seating areas, as shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team took the hand drawings from Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, and converted them into the version 1.0 AutoCAD drawings shown here. And we created these two new versions of the advanced automations pages for the Seven Villages online book. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 37th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was continued modeling and initial lighting testing within the social dome. Hayes Lay, Structural Engineer, and Chuna Nee, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the City Center Structural Engineering. This week's focus was research and new designs for the central dome connectors, as shown here. Shubham Agrawal, Electrical Engineer, continued his work on the City Center energy details with Mike Hogan, 
Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant. This week's focus was more discussion about critical versus non-critical systems differentiation and the initial electrical layout shown here. Jin Yu, Structural Engineering Designer, also completed her 13th week working on the concrete foundation details. This week's focus was revisions and writing another 10 pages of content for the City Center Footers Foundation and Flooring Tutorial. You can see examples of this behind-the-scenes work here. Ashwin Patil, web developer, also continued helping develop the new search engines for our site. This week's work was finishing development of the Duplical City Center search engine version 3.0 that you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team created three additional new images for the sustainable food calculations page, as you see here. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team completed the final 75% of the mind map for the consensus and decision-making lesson plan and the final 75% of the mind map for the fulfilled living lesson plan, as you can see here. And we continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the time lesson plan and the winter lesson plan. This brings us to 20 of 52 finished, which is approximately 38% completion. We also continued working on the renders for the Ultimate Classroom. This week we modified the lighting and other aesthetic details to create this new final render of the Yellow Room. And we created this new updated Ultimate Classroom overview image. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team created the new video background, transitions, imagery, and other details that were played in the background of this week's new format intro. You can see some of that work that went into this here. Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, and Jonah Lewis, software developer, completed their collective fifth week of work on the Highest Good Network. This week's focus, some of which you can see here, was on the time log entry process and connections to the database. So there you have it. This is our version of what Global Highest Good Network creation looks like. You've seen one week of our updates. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you like what we're doing, you like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list and send you an email every week. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. Either way, thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the likes that we get. Thank you for the shares that we get. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the donations. We are a 100% volunteer organization and nobody is paid for anything that we're doing here. So none of your donations go to pay my salary or anybody else. We're a 100% volunteer, which means that 100% of donations go to supporting our mission, helping keep our global organization running, and really just covering operational expenses. So thanks for the donations that we get. Thanks for the support. And of course, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.